35 million people live with HIV worldwide, and 1.5 million people died of AIDS in 2013. The challenge with HIV is that the body has no natural way to fight it. When HIV attacks, it destroys white blood cells, called T-cells, the cells working to fight disease. HIV not only attacks and kills T-cells, but it also uses them as a host to multiply and spread. HIV becomes full-blown AIDS when your T-cell count drops below about 15%. At this point, the body is unprotected against disease. The most common type of treatment for HIV to date is antiretroviral therapy, or ART. It essentially freezes the virus in its steps, which prevents it from infecting new cells and multiplying. But it's not a cure, which is why patients have to stay on ART for the rest of their lives. OHSU researcher Dr. Lewis Picker is working on a new treatment, one that essentially cured more than 50% of the dozens of monkeys he's studied since 2013. Picker uses an age-old herpes virus called cytomegalovirus, or CMV. It's basically as old as dinosaurs. Most humans have it, and it's generally harmless. CMV has the unique potential to work around two weaknesses T-cells have when it comes to fighting HIV. First, when T-cells are dormant, they're disarmed and aren't always looking for intruders. So by the time a virus has invaded, they have to get armed to fight. And that wastes time. CMV turns T-cells into ruthless, ready warriors. Second, T-cells don't see HIV as a target until it's too late. To make sure T-cells recognize HIV, Picker weaves tiny bits of HIV into the CMV. Once in the body, this gives T-cells a mugshot of the enemy. T-cells can't distinguish between CMV and HIV, but now see both as a threat. Picker's vaccine delivers a knockout blow never seen before in an HIV vaccine. If safe and effective in humans, it could potentially wipe out the virus over time. The first test on humans starts next year, although we might not see results for another 8 to 10. 